So this will be step four of our timely bootstrap application. And today we are going to be creating the HTML page and testing that timely installation or timely time leave is actually working. Remember time leave is a, a template engine that translates dynamic pages and, and provides a HTML page for you. So you have to create a class called home controller. So that is what we want to do first. So in the in the SRC main, I'm going to go to inside this package that we already have, and I'm going to create a home controller. So what I'm going to create is a file that manages this displaying a HTML file or a home page. So this file I'm going to just call it home controller. Why? Because it's going to display a HTML page. It's going to manage display of the home or HTML page. So I'm going to say finish. So the next step says annotate this class with at controller annotation. So that is also easy. Just come here and say at controller. And then write a spring method called call write a spring method called tests to return index. So meanwhile press control uh, shift and O on your keyboard to sorry save it first. Okay, okay, it takes a second. So okay, so we are going to be writing a string method called tests simply to test it and make sure it will display a HTML page. So let's see, uh, it's taking a while. Okay, so I'm going to say uh, public string test. So what this, this, this uh, method is simply going to do is going to just return uh, index, that's all. The reason it's returning index is because we are going to create a page called index. So the same name of the page is the same name you are going to return uh, if you want it to display that page. So we are going to annotate this uh, method with a request mapping of slash home. So that when a user visits slash home, it's going to come to, this, to the page, to the HTML page that we are going to create. So simply say a request mapping of slash home. Okay, so control shift O on your keyboard and it's going to add the namespace. So the next thing we want to do is to create, after creating this home controller, as you can see, this is what we have. Create a HTML file in the templates folder uh, into the SRC main resources folder. And that is where the templates folder is. So if you go to SRC main resources, you can see templates folder. And just right click and say new and say uh, new, just choose order. And then we want to create a HTML, HTML, HTML file and just say next. So the name of the file is index. So the name of the file is, uh, is going to be exactly the name that you returned in your controller. So I'm going to say finish. And this is the HTML and I'm going to say so timely tutorial. So if it displays this page, then everything is working, right? Okay, so in the body I'll just say I'll just say H2 in the H2 tag I'll just say everything works so far. Put exclamation mark. So let's see, let's now test it and see if this page is going to be displayed when we go to slash home. I'm going to save and I'm going to go to this application. I'm going to right click on it and choose runners and choose spring boot up. And then we are going to visit port 8080 slash home and see if it's going to display the home page. So at this point, I'll go to check the progress. Um, everything seems to be fine. All right, so you can see Tomcats have started on port 8080 and I'm going to go to HTTP, HTTP localhost of 8080 and home and you can see everything worked so far so we are actually making progress and i'll say i'll, I'll like to say if you come this far you are doing great don't give up let's continue moving on at the end of the day we have something really to be proud of 
Remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed to my channel and also leave me a comment if you have challenges whatsoever. So we are ready to go to now to move to step 5.